Okay, so here we are again with 100% LCFC TV, and I'm with Steve Walsh, and I want to have a quick chat with him about next season. Yep. So, Steve, have you seen much of pre-season? I've seen a couple of games. I went to Ilkeston early early doors, one of the first games they played, and um, and I went to Preston, my hometown team, uh, last Saturday. So I've seen, and I, I did plan to go to Walsall, but couldn't go to that one. I do like to see the pre-season games, see how the lads are doing. Obviously, there's a lot, um, you know, these pre-season games is a, a fitness programme, really, more than... Um, having to actually win these games but they've they've played pretty well overall um you know it's been a bit of a um you know a, a pre a season that they've had after after all the uh tribulations and and the, and the, the success that they had at the end of the season and the traveling they've done to thailand and to austria um they've been you know they must have a little bit of jet lag in them to, to say the least and still probably getting a bit of champagne out of the system at the minute because you know you can't help but celebrate after a season that they had last season but i've seen couple of games and to be honest with you you know there's a little bit of rustiness there but all it is is a, a fitness exercise as I know that and um, and it's game time um, now um, now it gets really serious because we're a week away from uh, you know just just under a week away from the big start so um, I think that um, you know I'm looking at players that like, you know, drink water were looking uh, and Jane's look really fit Nugent looked exceptionally fit to me in, in the first game that I saw um, he's got a point point to prove obviously now that there's compet you know competition for places uh, it's certainly going to be an interesting season I'm looking forward to the start um, I'm going to go uh, to Werder Bremen uh, tomorrow um, so yeah I've seen that and I went to Preston last week that was um, it wasn't the best of games uh, as far as performance wise it, they looked a little bit bit sluggish and a little bit tired I thought on um, Saturday but still I, I, I can see what, what the exercise or what the exercise is for um, it's still fitness um, it was a chance to see players for Pearson try different formations try different people in different positions and um, and a chance to see his new signings um, like, you know and, and overall they're looking good you know yeah. um, the concerns obviously Vardy um, he just you know he came off against Preston but uh, I actually spoke to Nigel after the game and um, he said it was precautionary and uh, expected him to fit so that would be good news if he is because yeah, uh, he, 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 you know, he was a key player last season yeah. in our success. Yeah, And uh, you mentioned a little bit there about the signings we've made. Um, we've yeah. not made any really big, big name signings this summer. No. It, um, do you think, how do you think our squad's going to stand up to the test of the Premier League next season? I think we'll surprise some teams. Um, you know, that's the golden question, really. Um, I do think they'll do well. I think they've got an opportunity, um, you know, to finish, you know, halfway in the league. They've got to set the sights high. I think they've got to look at Europe. Um, you know, I, I, as far as achievable, uh, that that's a long way off. But it'd be a great, a fantastic season if something like that happened. But you can't just go into a season and say, right, we're just going to stay up because. If you do that, then uh, you know there's not many places below that. If you're just going to stay up, is there? So uh, you've got to set your sights mid-table. I think that's achievable with teams in the in the division. I think there's ten teams in there they can beat. I think they can surprise a few of the big um, the big guns as well. Good. Um, one of the players I did want to ask you about is Jeff Schlupp, who's yeah. who's recently converted from from forward to to left back. Yeah. Um, for me, he did a, did a great job at the end of last season in, in place of Koncheski when needed. Yeah. Um, and he, he looks good in pre-season. I, I mean, as, as someone who played a little bit in two positions for, for yeah. City in the past, how, how do you see that conversion? And, and, yeah. and do you see Schlipp now as being a, a, a genuine left-back and someone to contend for the first-team place there? I think he's a better defender than he is a forward. Um, I think he's come on and learned so much over the last season. The last five or six games that I watched him over the season, he was phenomenal. He was man of the match in nearly every game. Yeah. So he's come on a lot and I'd like to see, you know, him probably given the chance, but it's a position that Pearson might be looking to sign a player. Um, you, you just don't know whether he's, he's got the experience, which he hasn't at, at, at the Premier, you know, at that top level. But he's certainly got the pace and the and the know-how if he can learn quickly um, and, and and work on his defensive um, situation. Then I think he can become a, a very good left back. Great. Um, let's hope so. Um, yeah. Last one from me. Um, start of the season. 
we've got Everton obviously coming up but after yeah. that we've got Chelsea we've got Arsenal and we've got Man United <laughs> after Stoke we've got, we've got three of the big boys all in the it's first five massive, it's a massive uh, start for Leicester and you know at the end of the day even if they lost they lost, you know, the first six games which all, we all hope they, they don't they could possibly do that that could happen and it's something we've got to deal with and I think they'll respond from it even if they did and I, and I, but it'd be you know you just think if they get a good start against Everton then it could go the other way so it's just not knowing at the moment and not knowing the class of, of the Prem well we do know the class of the Premier League and they're going to have to be up for it I'm sure that they'll be on a high the confidence will be high and I, and I don't see any reasons why they, they can't have a good start against Everton and that'll, that then is so important to, a, to your confidence and your team yeah. you know and then that could be a, you know work out a very good season yeah. And, and lastly, your message to the fans for this season? Patience? Uh, yeah, patience. Yeah, definitely. That's one. Um, I think it's going to be a tremendous that atmosphere every game without fail anyway. I think our fans will be, uh, be up for it. Um, it's just great to be back in the big time. Fantastic. Well, yeah. thank you, Steve. Thank and you. Thanks for your time. Yeah, no problem.